now see see how to immediately what is the impact earth because these gods and goddesses they are doing work for things to happen on earth that is their assigned duty that is assigned earth fell the imperishable passage close that is also a kind of a seed dropped by the aura the dawn is already casting their seed imperishable passage close the waking year of nature heard her steps of that immortal work the doer of the immortal work has and wide stand to her is limitless i i told you last time wideness <laughs> that what wideness is you see limitless i and scattered on sea there shall loom the smile kindle to fire the silent to the world a loom the smile kindle to fire the silent to the world what a line this one this is and you see again you can see the difference also as fell the imperishable passage close line stops the waking year of nature heard her steps the line stops and wide is turned to her its limitless eye line stops and scattered on seed her leaves a smile kindled to fire line is overrunning to the next line anjama you see what a powerful technique he has used you see that is a real inspired poetry it has to overflow that thing a leaves a smile kindled to fire the silence to the world you see so surir limino alebe la fer the salans de mond correct <laughs> how do we translate that But my my LV is also bitter. Is bitter? No. Alumi, 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 alumi. Yeah, yeah. Alumi. No, we don't say alumi the fire. We say, for example, alumi the oven, alumi the the candle. But the fire in itself, we put the fire. Okay. Kingdom means animate, but in this context, animate. No, you animate a machine or something that donates. Animate the fuel, the silence, the moon. Okay. What a line this one! And scattered on sea depths, sea depths. You see, this is what happens: sea depths below all that immense darkness on that, and then. all grew a consecration and a rise the fire is kindled agni is now ablaze and all grows a consecration and a rise a yajna is going on so now this is the does she does she create agni there or is it agni existing and he comes no it is the divine agni who is now kindled in the occult now this is specific agni is always there but now a specific action is being taken and therefore the agni is set ablaze well it is it is it is now the description of a vedic yajna vedic yajna you see the power of the vedic yajna is that what you do to the vedic yajna it get realized in other words this yajna is meant now for the arrival of the avatar on the earth earth felt the imperishables trade earth felt 
the imperishable passage now in order that that happens you have to kindle the fire you have to do the yatna and it is this yatna now which is being described here all grew a consecration and a right air was a vibrant link between earth and heaven the wide wind him of a great priestly wind arose and fell upon the outer hill the high bow spread in a revealing sky now he had described the yajna very briefly here now the description of yajna appears in savitri half a dozen times we shall see that <laughs> how it happens now this is the 63.9 this is the yajna being done by the sons of falsehood evil all those people who are there as hostiles this is in the book 2 canto 8 the world of falsehood the mother of evil the sons of darkness the sons of darkness they are doing the yajna there in the vacant precincts of the sacred fire in front the residues of the mystic rite they are doing the mystic rite facing the dim velamen nan can peer in tones a solemn hymn the metered priest invoking their dreadful presence in their brain attributing to them the awful name he chanted syllables of the magic text and summoned the unseen communions and while to the incense and the muttered prayer all the fierce table of the veil with which the world is racked is mixed in the foaming chalice of man's heart and pour to them like a sacramental wine so he has both both vedic yajna and the sacramental wine both of them you see here now this is the yajna being done by the sons of darkness for their own glory for their own power for their own greatness for their own assertive will to come into play they are doing this yajna in the in the world of darkness you see actually in ramayana there is a very powerful description of the yajna being done by the asura by the rakshasa the battle is taking place between rama and ravana and then they notice that ravana's son his name is meganad meganan the sound of the cloud meg cloud sound is the cloud his other name is indrajit who has conquered god indra ramana son has conquered god indra and in the cave down below deep he is doing a yatna there yeah. because tomorrow he has to face the enemy ravan uh, rama and lakshman and all that thing so he is invoking power in the yatna to fight against them you see and the yatna is going on there now when these people notice that such a yatna is being going on he will bring brahmastra the weapon of indra uh, of brahma himself and nobody can resist that and if he succeeds in that then ram rama has no chance of getting a victory at all you see so they had to thwart that yajna somehow thwart see that the yajna is destroyed you see somehow and the machination goes on towards that and next day when lakshmana and indrajit they fight lakshmana gets wounded severely because of the power which he has received from the yajna you see he is wounded he would die and then the doctor attending on the rama's army he tells them that there is only one medicine which you have to 
brain and which can revive Lakshmana. Otherwise, he would be dead, you see. And he said that, that, that herb is called Sanjeevani. Sanjeevani herb. Where is it? It is there on the mountain peak of Himalayas. And you have to bring it quickly and then only he can be revived, Lakshmana. See. Who can do that? Vanara. See the tribe, mental tribe already has become now. You see. Hanuman, he is the only person who can do that, who has strength and has the capacity to do things, what he wants. So he goes, flies straight to Himalayas. And then he does not know in Himalayas, is, is this Sanjuni or is this Sanjuni because he does not know that thing. So he listens the whole mountain and brings the mountain here on the battlefield. Now you select what, <laughs> what, what herb you want, it's not my job, you select. Then they pick up the herb particularly and Lakshmana is revived because of that you see. Now these are all the tribes who are helping God, who are helping Ramana, R R R Avatar, who are already helping the Avatar you see. They are already evolved, they, they are not apes, they are ape-like creatures who have that capacity. They are all people in the occult world. So the story of Ramana is to be really read from the occult point of view. It is not that a monkey from the field is coming and helping you like that. It is there, there are different types of people all together who are coming and helping you. So the yajna is thwarted, the Sanjeevani medicine is brought and Lakshmana is revived. So that is the power of yajna being utilized by even the hostile forces, the sons of darkness to get power. So yajna is really very powerful. So if you want to get something done, do proper yajna. <laughs> then you have got another one, 104.19. This is the marriage ceremony of Satyavan and Savitri. The, the marriage is sanctified, the marriage is hallowed and they unite together. Okay. On the high glowing people, 104.19. On the high glowing cupola of the day, fate tied and knot with morning's halo threads. While by the ministry of an auspice hour, heart bound before the sun, their marriage fire, the wedding with eternal Lord and spouse took place again on earth in human form. A new act of the drama of the world, the united two began the greater age in the silence and murmur of that emerald world and the mutter of the priest wind, the sacred world, mutter of the priest wind, sacred world, amid the choral whispering to the live, love strain joined together and grew one. So this is the hello thread, auspice of our marriage fire. The Agni is kindled there and in Agni is the witness for them joining together. He is the witness there and that is a kind of a marriage which does not get dissolved. There is no divorce at all in such a marriage, you see. You see? When, when Agni himself is the witness, then he joins them together permanently, you see. So this is the, this is the, this is the efficacy of the Yajna. Then we have got here. 142-103, this is most important. But now her spirit's flame of conscient force, retiring from a sweetness without fruit, call back her thoughts from speech to sit within in a deep room in meditation's house. For only there could dwell. 142, 103, 104, 103, 103, 102, 102, 102, 102, 102, 102, 102, 102, 102, 
the soul's firm truth imperishable a tongue of sacrifice it flamed unquenched upon the central heart where burns for the high priest house lord and his men the home stay sentinel and witness fire home stay sentinel and witness fire from which the altars of the gods are lit from which the altars of the gods are lit you see now this is a great wonderful sacrifice a cosmic sacrifice now this is in the context of we are saying already but let me repeat again this is in the context of the dialogue between savitri and death now a stage has reached she is arguing she is saying this she is saying that and this fellow says no 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 you may talk i am not interested in all that thing you know so she is saying that it is a kind of a stalemate she has reached a deadlock and she will not be able to really win death to get the soul of satyavan back you see she sees that thing. then she resorts to the yatna in the depths of her soul she enters into her house of meditation she is there she enters into her house of meditation and deep in the house of meditation what does she see that a vedic sacrifice is constantly going on there there she sees a vedic sacrifice what is the vedic sacrifice this is what he says here if it flame unquenched upon the central hearth central hearth mehar bas for the high house lord and his men high house lord and his men the home stay sentinel and witness fire sentinel and witness fire from which the altars of the gods are lit so that is the sacrifice savitri is seeing in the depths of her soul and when she sees that she identifies herself with that she does the sacrifice suddenly things change now she become the leader of the march there is the spirit of satyavan behind him is death behind them is savitri that is the procession how it is going towards the home of death marching like that now from behind savitri is driving the procession it is her will her choice her demand her command we shall make things move the way she wants them to move when this sacrifice is done when the, when that yajna is done kindling the soul she has got full power now to do whatever she wants to do so that is the efficacy of the vedic yajna he is he says high house lord and his mate in the, in the traditional language house lord is called yajamana and his spouse his companion his wife she is called yajbani no so the fire is being worshiped by yajmana the house lord and his spouse together yajmani they are offering the fire offerings to the flame there is constantly seen now who is this yajman in the case of savitri actually this yajna is done at three levels in the case of the individual when we do then you do with the help of your wife and spouse husband and wife they offer prayers and worship and food or whatever is there ahutis to yajna on the cosmic scale the house lord and his mate are agni and his spouse swaha agni himself is offering to this fire the ahuti with the help of his spouse swaha means presence and power they are offering constantly the ahuti to the fire at the transcendental level it is ishwara and ishwari the lord house lord and his mate ishwari ishwara is the house lord lord and ishwari they are offering the cosmic yajna they are the transcendent so that the creation can move forward you see so the vedic yajna is at the, all the three levels at different at the individual level at the cosmic level at the transcendent level savitri sees here high house lord it is in the transcendent 
he yatna is going on ishwara and ishwari they are making fire offerings there and it is that fire offering which gives savitri now the power to meet death to meet yama conquer him in the course of time you see so that is the efficacy of this yatna here then we have got one more 146.60 They are in a body made of spirit stuff. One forty six, one forty six six zero. They are in a body made of spirit stuff. The heart stone of the everlasting fire. Action translate the movements of the soul. Thought steps infallible and absolute. And life is a continual worship, a right, a sacrifice of rapture, a sacrifice of rapture to the one. So this again, we did get now. So at all these great events take place only in the success of the yatna. Now here, a dawn is breaking, a new arrival is being seen. it can happen only when there will be sacrifice when there will be yajna going on here and that is what we have got here in other words here all grew a consecration and a right air was a vibrant link between earth and heaven the wide wing him the great priestly wind the chanting is going on who is chanting wide wing Priestly wind is chanting, arose and fell upon the altar hill. The hills themselves are the altar fire. The high boughs spread in a revealing sky. So the mountain, the river, everything is there joining this yajna, the sacrifice, this Vedic sacrifice. And in the success of the sacrifice, in the success of the future, kindled the fire, the silent to the world. Kindle the fire, the smile kindle. So this is the result of the smile kindling to fire. That that is the power of the smiles. Or that liberal smile. That is the power of that liberal smile. That it has kindled fire. And what is that fire? That yet is going on. So a smile kindling a yet a fire. What a beautiful image. What a beautiful awful. Powerful image it is. You see, kindled to fire, the silent to the world. All grew, all grew. A consecration and a rite. Air was the vibrant. So he is giving some example. Air was there all air vibrantly. Vibrant hymn sung by the priestly wind arose and fell upon the altar hill. The mountains, which are there. So this is the yajna. Actually, this is the yajna which is taking place in the Shalva woods, where, where Satyavan and Savitri are there. You see, the wide wing him of a great priestly wind arose and fell upon the heart of hill. The high boughs spread in a revealing sky. So that is the sign of the coming of the avatar. That is the invocation for the avatar to come. So what does that silent work that ambassadors was doing? The invocation, yes, the ground has to be ready now for the avatar to come here. See, she attended to her immortal work. Well, this is the immortal work she is doing. This is the immortal work she is doing, and wide is turned to her his limitless eye. All grew a consecration and a rite. Air was a vibrant link between earth and heaven. The wide wing him of a great priestly wind arose and fell. What poetry and what line, what powerful! See, the high boughs spread in the evening sky. 